Mm-mm-mm. Oh Lord, have mercy, y'all. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Uh, 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 uh. I try to tell us, and I try to be as honest as I possibly can. And it's, it's a song that Kenny Rogers used to say. He said, "You have to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and when to run." That ain't no shit. It's for real. Oops, oops, oops. Um, what I'm trying to say is we got a problem right now in Kenosha and, um, a lot of people couldn't, they couldn't wait. They, they, you know, they couldn't sit back and understand the difference in, you know, what fight has to happen right now and when it should happen. Up, oh, but then again. A lot of people don't agree with that. So let me just give y'all this breaking news, okay? Breaking news, breaking news. Violent clashes, and I'm in here, I'm in Milwaukee, right? Uh, but these, I'm down the road from Kenosha. Uh, violent clashes break out between Black Lives Matter protest, uh, pro Rittenhouse protesters, um, and the pro Rittenhouse protesters. After jury is sent home for the second night with no verdict. A defense calls for the mistrial over the drone footage that was lynch, uh, linchpin in prosecution case. <sighs> this is sick. So they're saying that it was a um, uh, defense calls for a mistrial over drone footage that was the linchpin in prosecution case, right? So, they got a bunch of police arresting people. Um, National Guard troops outside Kenosha are seen swinging batons and training with shields in preparation for violent protests. So, they was doing that the day before. Um, now, we got armed anti-black lives matter activist Maserati Mike. And he joined the protest in Kenosha Courthouse as Kyle Rittenhouse uh, jury deliberates. Gun toting supporter is turned away by cops as tension rises over the looming verdict. So you got people out there carrying guns, a la uh, a written house, who has been made of uh, some type of martyr, and um, you got people that want to represent him showing up. Uh, and this country is, I mean, it's it's. Is 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 really torn right down the middle, y'all. You know, there is really a lot of hatred on the planet for us, and um, y'all, it's it's hard to move forward because if each and every individual would look at his own life, his own set of problems, his own shit, and begin right there, like Michael Jackson says, start with the man in the mirror. We probably could bring some of this stuff to a halt, but it's too late, in my opinion. And I, I, I hate to sound pessimistic, but when you listen to this stuff right here, and when you hear what's going on, it's like, almost like white folks don't see the humanity in us. Um, and sometimes we don't see the humanity in ourselves. And... White folk don't see the humanity in their own selves because anybody that is standing up for anything that remotely uh, fair and just is just like 60 years ago. They're being deemed uh, Uyghur lovers. You know what I'm saying? Uyghur lovers. So, the breaking news right now is two people were arrested on Wednesday night as Kyle Rittenhouse supporters clashed with Black Lives Matter protests. 
Kenosha police confirmed a 20-year-old man and a 34-year-old woman were detained following scuffles. He was detained for battery, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. She was arrested for disorderly conduct. The jury in the two-week trial concluded its second day of deliberation on Wednesday without reaching a verdict. The governor of Wisconsin, Tony Evers, has put 500 members of the National Guard on standby 60 miles outside of Kenosha as the tense wait continues. Rittenhouse defense team made a new request for a mistrial on Wednesday. Addressing the court, Corey Shirafisi said, we're talking about a potential life sentence here and it has to be addressed. The defense is seeking a mistrial based on a controversial drone footage that they described as a linchpin of the state's case against him. The jury asked to see three separate videos, all of which relate to Kyle Rittenhouse's shooting of Gage Grosskreutz. DailyMail.com revealed that Assistant District Attorney Thomas Binger initially shared low-quality drone footage from the night of a shooting with the defense. Rittenhouse, who was 17 at the time of the shooting, is charged with first-degree intentional homicide and other counts. I do believe the uh, the judge throw the weapons charge out. Um, it's it's insane. They said tensions rose as 20-year-old man wearing fuck cow t-shirt was uh, there. Um, and, a, and he had a Bark Simpson backpack, and he was trading insults with another uh, prominent Rittenhouse supporter named Emily Cahill. Or Cahill. He and fellow anti Rittenhouse protesters tried to wrestle the sign back, and as he was being pulled off Cahill, he Sucker punch one reporter in the jaw. So the reporters are out there getting their asses kicked too. Other protesters tried unsuccessfully to lead uh, the man away and calm him down. But he then went on to strike several other people. Including the Daily Mail photographer before being pinned to the ground and hauled away in the paddy wagon. He was heard calling for his mother. As the vehicle pulled him away. You know. It's, it's just a shame to see us all. At each other's throat like this. Um, it's. Um, it's. It's very sad. Um, however there has no been no verdict so far. Then you got um, Justin Blake out there whose brother Jacob was shot by the police and that was of course y'all August 23rd 2020 uh, sparking the Kenosha riots that's what they saying he is seen on Wednesday night leading a protest out outside the courthouse um, it's amazing that um, they placing the blame on everybody except where the blame should be which is a uh, Written house, but like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if the young man get off. Uh, however, if you know, if y'all don't change him when he do get out, oh well. Cause Crips and Bloods is always riding down on each other. So that's the only thing I want to say about that, and I'm just gonna move on. So this is what's happening in Kenosha right now. We have um, a lot of supporters for Rittenhouse tangling with Black Lives Matter supporters. And um, right now, it just doesn't seem that they, you know, they, you know, they, they, they don't get it. And I guess that when the verdict come down so they can uh, go part two. I don't know. Well, I want to know what y'all opinion is. What y'all think about this? What do y'all think? And what do y'all? Which way do y'all think the verdict is going to go? 
So, you know, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the video. Oh, I know y'all, but some of y'all might ask me about my puppies. That's my new litter of Connie Corsos. They're laying down, resting. Um, I decided to use them as a backdrop. <laughs> and uh, I think most of them are gone. I think there's only about two available left out of this litter. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share, um, and let's talk about it right here. And I'll see you in a